me get this up and started and we will get moving. And Mr. Bill, can you turn on my monitor? Oh, is it not on? Nope. Sorry. That's okay. okay. There you should be able to see it now. There we go. I've got that attached. Okay, so our keyword tonight is heart. So type in the word heart and you will get an entry into our end of the month drawing, which is coming up next week and some other good information. So welcome everybody, welcome, welcome. We are working on a Valentine's craft tonight. I think I'm ready to start doing Valentine's Day. Never too late, right? What, we have three weeks? So I can't read the comments. Hi Cheryl, two Cheryls. Hello Ernie. I can't see, I can't see. Oh, there we go. Hey. Another Cheryl. Tracy. Hi, Tracy. And somebody else. Anyway, okay, so let's get started so I don't run out of time. So I went to the Dollar Tree. Favorite store, right? Let me, let me turn this off. Okay, so I went to the Dollar Tree and I found these chunky wooden hearts. They are, what, three quarters of an inch wide? Uh, chunky wood, this is actually just like a sticker on the top, but that's okay. So they're, they're cute, but uh, no, they're, they're a little cheesy. So we're gonna dress it up a little bit. So what we're going to do is we are going to make a candy bouquet for your Valentine. Hi, Gerilyn. Hi, Nancy. Welcome, welcome. So I picked a couple of these and we are going to paint them and kind of reassemble them. Let me set these aside. So the colors I'm going to use, these are, these are some of my chalk paste colors and these are actually um, colors that I got for free. You can get for free with a minimum purchase um, through the rest of January. But this is Dear Diary and sincerely yours. So this is a really pretty purple, and this is kind of a rosy, a, a, like a, um, a medium rose flesh tone color. Anyway, not your normal Valentine's colors, but I wanted to use these together and see what this project looks like. So I've kind of already gotten it started because I don't like to take all my time up and you watching paint dry. Hi, Patty. So I've got partially painted, this is the uh, Dear Diary, and then this is the Sincerely Yours, really pretty purple. And I'm gonna finish painting these up. And I'm gonna paint these not with a brush, but sometimes I use a sponge. Somebody else I saw uses cosmetic wedges. So I just got these at, I think this was Walgreens, you get them at Walmart couple bucks for a whole big old package. Sometimes they have them at Dollar Tree. So they're just little cosmetic sponges. So I'm going to use that to paint these. So this is, this is the what color? Dear Diary. I'm just going to use this to paint that on. And I'm just using my chalk paste as paint kind of thick. I might want to thin it out, but I want to get I want to get some good coverage here. And this looks like this looks like foundation for your face. That color. I'm not that dark, but what that reminds me of. Let's paint these up. And two of the sides are going to actually go inside and they're not going to be seen. So whichever side does not look the best is going to be that side. Thank you for sprinkling. So if you have not seen us before, we would love it if you would give our page a follow. 
and I'm going to I'm going to get this sponge just a little bit damp then out my chalk paste that will apply a little bit smoother and that looks like it covered that word love now our chalk paste is meant to be used in our silkscreen stencils, but it's very versatile, so I can use it as I can use it as chalk paint. I can thin it down, I can thin it way down, I'm gonna use it as a watercolor. Thick for using for my silkscreen transfers. It's actually been a while since we've been on. She says, can't stay now. I'm in the hospital. Oh, Long story. oh no. Okay. A little bit thick. Hey, Tracy. So you can do this with regular chalk paint. You can do it with acrylic paint. This is actually getting pretty good coverage. So I'm gonna stop there. And I'm actually, we're gonna end up using some skewers. So I'm just, while I've got some paint on my sponge, I'm going to paint up some of these. And these are these are just uh, barbecue skewers. I think I got these at Walmart. I imagine Dollar Tree has them too. We're going to use these to help arrange our candies. Painting with? I, what am I? What do you mean? What am I painting with? What do you, you put that on there with? It's a cosmetic wedge. They are makeup sponges. That's why I don't have any? That's why you don't have any. Okay. Because you don't put on makeup very often. Not very often. Oh, how, how, what's everyone's weather? We just got over a real heavy cold snap. So we're actually warming up into the 30s during the day. Oh, in the 40s. In the 40s, woohoo. Yeah, Our chickens have finally come back out of their coop. Got some purple ones. Let me do some of these rose colored ones. Hi, Cheryl Brock. Haven't seen hey, you in Cheryl. Yes, long time no see. How is everything? Okay, 50s rainy, Kathy, Kathy says. We've had a lot of rain. Our snow is pretty much all melted right in our immediate area. Denise says 37 and raining in Central Hill. Okay. Tracy's Davis says 50s and cloudy. 50s and cloudy. So cloudy and rainy seems fiert. to be fiert. Your boy does not know how to type in fiert. a fiert. Fiert. Fiert, Daniel. <laughs> Family is good. Oh, weather. Weather is playing games with you. That's no good. I think this weather is here to stay Hi, for. Hi, Tracy Taylor Kenter. Hey, Tracy. Heart. Awesome. We are glad to have you. So what I'm doing, if you're just joining us, um, I have a couple of wood, chunky wood hearts that I got from the Dollar Tree. I'm sure Michaels would probably have them also. Hobby Lobby would have them. How many of those are you doing? I'm gonna do I'm gonna do eight because that's how many I pulled out. 
And we are going to be putting this together to make a candy bouquet for Valentine's Day. For me? Maybe. Maybe. Okay. So I just, I have some skewers here. I'm just putting a little bit of my chalk paste on those. Let me put lids on these. And I'm going to dry these up. And then we're gonna, we're gonna put it together to make a, like a little, a little container, a little basket. So I'm going to get my heavy duty dryer out and dry these up. And yeah, he gets his own whether I get it for him or not. on tonight. You know, the thing is, I might get my own candy, but you seem to find it in my drawer. And yeah, but I have to go search it. It offered to me. So that's all dried up, and let's let's chalk on these. So here's here's the other the first side I did, and we are going to put a design on these. So here is this is last year's one of last year's Valentine's transfers. It is X O B mine. It is available right now at fifty percent off. So that's why I pulled it out because for the next week it is available at 50% off. So you can go get you one and save yourself some cash. Okay, let's do, let's do this one that says Happy Valentine's Day. Okay, let's just cut these all apart. And then let's do the one that says, Be Mine. I had some letters I was going to type out, uh, chalk out some words, and I decided not to do that. But you could definitely get some of our fonts, our alphabet fonts, and you could do your own little conversation hearts with a project like this, make it say what you wanted it to say. So some of the other ones are this XO, XO, February 14th, a little gumball machine, uh, you plus me equals us. This one I'm going to use, be mine, and happy Valentine's Day. So I'm going to put a little bit of wax on this because it's freshly painted and I don't want my... I don't want my sticky transfer to pull up that paint. Irma so I'm gonna Irma wants to know where do you order those from? From my shop. If you comment, if you commented heart, you got a message to your messenger and follow that link, click on the button that says um, product info. And from there you'll get another message and click on the link that says um, I think it says supplies, supply list, and you that will take you to my chalk shop. Or you can type this. Ooh, nope, that's not that one. You can also type exclamation mark shop, exclamation mark shop, and that should take you to my shop too. Okay, so I'm using some surface wax. I also sell this in my shop. It's just a paste wax, odorless, and it just gives a little bit of protection for the paint, protection for my transfer, so that it doesn't stick. Okay. 
And let's see. It's going to... Okay, very, very sticky. First time I've used this, so I'm going to fuzz it. I'm going to get some a towel and I'm going to get some lint to adhere to this. So it just lightens up that tackiness of the sticker. And I'm going to center this here. These hearts lay, lay like this, so they kind of lay on their side. Do the Be Mine. So on the one that is the purple, the Sincerely Yours, I'm going to chalk it with the opposite. I'm going to chalk it with, what is this, Dear Diary. I'm going to take a squeegee, get a little bit of that paste on the squeegee, and drag it across that silk screen. And you're going to see some magic in just a second. Scrape off the excess, put it back in the jar. And I'm going to peel this off. Ta-da! Be mine. Okay. And I'm going to put this down until I'm ready to clean it. I'm going to put it on a dish drying mat from the Dollar Tree. I'm going to give it... Just a little spritz of water so it doesn't completely dry out. You'd get into them too, yeah. Yeah, we do that, don't we? Okay, and then on this heart, it's gonna go the opposite way. This is going to be the Happy Valentine's Day. And peel it off, same thing. Put some fuzz on it just to lighten up that tackiness. Now, just to be clear, why are you putting them on an angle? Does it have to fit that way, or what? Well, I because the heart doesn't stand up like this. The heart will set like this. So I want it to be straight when the heart is setting like it does. That's the only reason why. Okay, and I'm actually, let's see, make this fit. I'm going to going to not do some of those. I'm not going to do any of those little loop de loops because they're just not fitting quite. I'm just going to do the words "Happy Valentine's Day." So I'm going to do that in my dark purple squeegee again. A little bit of paste on my squeegee, drag it over that silk screen, just like that, scrape off the excess, put that back in the jar. And let's peel it off. And then we have Happy Valentine's Day. Okay, and again, I'm not quite ready to clean these, so I'm just going to spray them with water so it doesn't completely dry. Take that away, and I'm going to dry these up. I'm going to put them together with a gap in the middle. 
So to do that, I got some of these, um, they're like giant tongue depressors, but these are actually paint sticks, quart paint sticks. I just got these from Home Depot. So they're like a ginormous tongue depressor, giant popsicle stick. And we are gonna glue those on so that it makes a gap in there so that we can make our, what are we making? We are making our um, candy bouquet. So I'm going to, I'm gonna let that be my width. And I've got some of these cut already. So I cut them down. I use these, what are these called, Bill? What are what? They're just shears. They're, they're, they're like heavy duty shears. I wouldn't, I probably wouldn't do it with my craft scissors. I think the boys bought that for me from. But, but uh, they are just, they're heavy duty shears. You get them at, at Home, Depot. Um, Home Depot. You could probably get them at Harbor Walmart. Freight. Um, you might even get them in the tool section at Walmart. So the, but this is thick enough to, to cut that. And he's got some big daddies right there too. So this cuts through that. This would probably cut off your fingers, so be careful. And I've got my length, how, how, how long I want it. So I'm just going to hold that there. And cut that. And if they don't have a pair of shears that heavy, I can show them how to do with just regular like diagonals or something like that. If you'll hand me that little piece, give me that little piece. Okay. If you had just a pair of diagonals, you can actually cut it and just press down. Notice I didn't cut through, but it scored it. You can take that and bend this Snap and it cuts it. off nice and clean. So either way works. Okay. Going to be roughly that wide, and we are going to glue that on both sides. So I'm going to use I'm going to use a little bit of wood glue. And I'm going to use a little bit of hot glue. Start at this corner. Down. And this paste jar is just kind of holding my place. So the hot glue bonds instantly, but it's not as strong. The wood glue takes a little bit longer to dry, but it, it makes a better seal on that wood. So now I'm going to turn it this way and do the same thing there. A little bit of wood glue. And a little bit of hot glue. A little bit of that. Hey, there's Liana. Hey, Liana. It's been a long time since we've seen you, lady. Cheryl and Cheryl Brock. And this is Leanna like this is, is like old times. It's like homecoming. These are some of my original, original followers. Okay, so I've got I've just got that corner done, and now I'm going to work my way up. I work my way across here. And, and um, Michelle said uh, cute stuff tonight. So I responded and said, yeah, I think I am too. So oh, just goodness. So you know. Don't get him started. I'm just going to butt that right up. Is that. Actually going to kind of down so it gets now we're gonna we're gonna end up painting this 
more time. So a little bit of wood glue, a little bit of hot glue. I'm needing more, I think I'm needing more hot glue because it's a stick. I need more of that instant hold, so I'm going to do a little more with hot glue. I'm doing okay. What's going on with our YouTube? But it does not like streaming. The videos are fine, but the streaming just doesn't seem to work. I can't figure out what I'm doing wrong. Well, I can't tell you. Will you stick to your lane, and I'll stick to my lane, and I'll figure it out sooner okay. or later. I have a friend who says we need to make matching t-shirts that say stay in your lane. So I'll have to work on that. And I'm going to come up over the top here. Carol Mesh says, Robin, love your pink t-shirt. Thank you. Linda's from Indiana. What's your weather like there, Linda? Out. Go ahead and tell Cheryl where you got your t-shirt. Mr. Bill made it for me for Christmas. He made me a whole bunch of colors so I can wear them all on my lives. You need to model it for him. Show him what's on your okay. sleeves. Okay, so the front says Raincross Farms Makery. One sleeve says Just Have Fun. This sleeve has our logo. And then the back says Do Something Creative Every Day. Pretty cute, huh? Okay, and I'm going to come up the corner with this. You said you're going to paint those? I'm going to paint these. Do you think it would have been better to paint them before? I might or? have, but I don't know. Probably would have done better. We'll be fine that way, but I just want Now, to... some of them are hanging over a little bit more than I like. So what I'll probably do afterwards is um, get my sandpaper and just kind of shave it down till it's flush. It's a little too much of a curve, so I think I'm going to stop it there, and I'm going to come up one more here. And I will probably paint this after the live. I want to get to showing you how, to, how I'm going to do the candy. Okay, so here's my... 
my little got an opening so in you there. Got the hearts at Dollar Tree. I got the hearts at Dollar Tree. And I got these little pieces at Home Depot, but I think you could, I know you can get the same thing at Walmart. You can get the same thing at... Uh, Go to your doctor's office and steal tongue Probably devices. Dollar Tree. You could get a handful from your doctor. Okay, and I have some floral foam here. So I'm going to shove that in there. And actually... is a little thicker than the here that's that's more of this this is oasis this is more of a styrofoam uh, i'm gonna shove this in there you laughing if, at me if i had done that you would have you would have said something oh i would have said that's something the way I anyway. done it. okay so i've got that i've got that shoved in there and then I'm going to take, I told you we were going to make a candy bouquet, so I went and got some candies. So I got some, oh, I got, that stuff is all over my face. I got some little uh, heart, heart chocolate truffle. I've got some sweet hearts, a strawberry cream heart. This is the perfect, <coughs> excuse me, the perfect man. It's a perfect man chocolate. It says he's sweet and rich. <laughs> and I got some little hearts from the bulk food at Winco. I've got some little chocolate hearts. And I got some Kit Kats. And I got some Reese's. They didn't have any Reese's hearts at, at my Winco. I just got regular Reese's. So we'll make do. Okay. So let me show you how we'll do this. Let's get a couple of these out. So I painted those sticks already. So we are going to glue these little doodads onto the sticks and you want to be careful if it's chocolate you don't want to melt your chocolate i'm just going to glue that on there and let's glue on a sweetheart <laughs> We were sure showing our age tonight when we bought those sweethearts. I remember buying a box of sweethearts for like were 10 they or 79 cents. cents or something? Yeah. 79 cents a box, and they used to be like a dime or 15 cents when. Well, sure. the only reason, the, the reason I remember them is when my kids would take them to school to give out as Valentines. And they were that cheap. Okay, so let's do. Do a Reese's. Ouch. And let's do a Kit Kat. Let's put the Kit Kat up this direction. And let's do a couple of these little hearts. In about 10 minutes. Okay. I should be good. Like I said, I'm gonna I'm going to um, finish painting it after the live is over. Let's put two of these on a stick. And let's do a couple more. So we can always do more, but that 
oasis got fuzz everywhere. So I'm just going to stick this, oops, stick this down in there. And let's do another one. I kind of want them at different heights. So I might need to, I might need to trim my, trim my sticks. And then let's put that one up there. And let's do some this direction. Can you move it back toward you just a little bit? Mm -hmm. Perfect. Thank you. Okay. And let's see. Let's do trim that one. Okay. So I'm not quite done, but I can also, whoops, I can also make sure it's level. So I probably need something heavier over here, or I need to glue my oasis down better. I didn't glue it down. I also have some florals that I could stick in there amongst the candy. Let's see. So I can have flowers and candy. And let's see. Let's do this piece right there. This is just one side and I'm going to put more in so it's more full as we go, but that is the idea. What do you think? Do we like it? Let me see. I've got a little bit of time, so let me... Decorate some of the... Oh, I got to put Mr. Perfect. That's right. Mr. Perfect on a stick. Girl, Broxton is so cute. <laughs> Mr. Perfect in there. Mesh says, love it. Sweet. Okay, let's do, what else do we need to do? Another Reese's, maybe. And let's make that one a lot shorter. Hot see. glue is pretty magic. It can be. Okay. Oh, 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 hot, 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 hot. Don't burn yourself. Well, I hope I'm not uh, melting all of the all of the Reese's. So Anyway, I will go through and I will paint the edges. I will kind of um, shave them down so that they are flush with the hearts, but that is just two hearts put together with some ginormous, uh-oh, Reese's uh -oh. came off. Reese's fell off. Reese's down. Margaret said she had power failure, but she's back on now. Uh-oh. Well, glad you're here, Margaret. Okay, so let me hold that for a second. Okay, so candy arrangement. And if you didn't want to make one of these and you just found a mug or something, you could stick some styrofoam in it, get some skewers, put candy on sticks, 
and make a cute little arrangement to give for Valentine's Day. How many of you think you will try something like this? A candy arrangement. Okay, so I have just a couple minutes, so let me show you how I clean up my transfers. Real easy. I'll finish that up. So I'm just going to clean them with water. I'm starting with just a spray bottle, and I'm going to start with a paper towel or a Swedish dishcloth. And that's just regular water? This is just, well, it happens to be distilled, but it does not need to be. That's just what I have in my spray. And I just take my paper towel or my Swedish dishcloth and start taking off that top layer of paste. This is not completely clean yet. It's getting it clean. Okay. Rinse this out, reuse this, toss your paper towel. Now I'm going to switch to a board eraser. Get it wet. Give it another spray. This is a lot like a magic eraser. It's kind of that same texture. And I'm just going to clean up the, the This gets right into that silk screen and gets the paste out of there. That is crucial because that's where all the magic happens is in that screen. So you want that screen clean. And this really pulls it out of that screen. Now some of our pastes might stain the transfer a little bit. That's okay, as long as you've got the paste out of the screen, it doesn't matter if it's stained. So clear that off. And ta-da! Screens are clean. I'm just going to let this air dry, sticky side up. And when it's dry, I'll put it back on its little backer sheets and back in its little plastic um, plastic case and it will be good for the next time. These are reusable 10 to 12 times and they are great. We've got some great sales going on. We also have coming up on February 6th, we're launching our spring line. So if you want a sneak peek on that, when you commented heart, follow that message to product info. Click on product info, you'll get another, um, another message and click on, what does it say, spring preview? I think it says spring preview. Click on that and you will get a chance to see our three new lookbooks that are coming out in early February. So see what's coming. So anyway, cute little project. I hope you like it. I hope you think it's sweet. And I hope you follow us on Raincross Farms Makery. We've got a lot going on. I'm working on a sourdough starter journey that I'm learning how to do and as long as I'm learning it I'm thinking let let me take you guys along with me so starting in early February I'm going to be day by day showing how to create a sourdough starter so you want to follow our page if that's something you might be interested in it's absolutely free and so follow us and give us a shout out so thanks so much and I hope you enjoy your next crafter on Craft Around the Clock. And of course, just have fun and do something creative every day. So bye-bye, everybody.